Howdy folks, Brett here. If you're looking for free apps for your Windows computer, the Microsoft Store has tons of great apps for productivity and entertainment. Now with more than 500,000 to choose from, to narrow things down, I'll show you the free apps I'd recommend installing from the Microsoft Store, all of which are available for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Let's get started. We'll start with the general use apps first, before moving on to those for power users. First up is Spotify. People often argue who has the best music streaming service. I know we all have our preferences, but for me personally, Spotify with both free and paid plans has the best music app on Windows 11. The app itself has a nice looking user interface that makes it easy to discover new music, and you can listen to podcasts as well. In the lower right of the app, Selecting connect to a device lets you stream to another connected device in your home, which is convenient. To listen for free, Spotify is ad supported and it won't let you play songs in any order and you can't listen offline. For an on-demand ad free experience, they have plans that start at around $12 per month. And for students, you can get it for around $6 per month. I'll mention this one briefly. Soma FM, which just relaunched in the Windows Store, is a fantastic app to listen to lesser-known music, offering more than 30 curated channels from award-winning DJs and music directors. It's completely free with no ads. Adobe Photoshop Express is great for those of you looking for more image editing features than what is built into the photo app in Windows. For free, it includes the basic tools most people would ever need with advanced features locked behind a paywall. Here's a quick look at it. After you've selected a photo to edit, along the left, you have a selection of looks to choose from. These are similar to the filters in Instagram. You can rotate, flip, change the aspect ratio, and straighten out your image. The corrections tab is the most useful of these. Light lets you adjust the exposure and contrast. If you have a washed out photo, go down to blacks, then adjust the slider to the left. You have five color choices, six effects, including clarity and grain. And Details has the option to sharpen your image. There's a tool to heal blemishes. You can correct red eye with a single click. And there's a tab to add borders to your photos. At the top of the screen, there's an auto enhance tool that can touch up your photo with just one click. This feature is hit or miss, but may come in handy if you're in a hurry. The popular free and open source VLC has two media player apps to play your audio and video files in the Microsoft Store. The first, simply called VLC, is the same full-featured version that's also available from their site. The other one is called VLC UWP, which is great for those of you that have touchscreen computers. It's been designed to be simpler to use and more touch-friendly. The only downside is that it does not support DVDs and Blu-rays. Zoto PDF Reader and Editor is a superior alternative to using the free version of Adobe Acrobat Reader. While not completely free, it does include more tools for free and PDFs do load faster. Selecting the edit icon in the upper right gives you several tools to mark up your document. You can even create your own signature. If you select view mode to help protect your eyes, there's even an option for night mode. When compared to many of the free PDF readers I've used, Zoto is one of the best. There's a saying for Internet Explorer and nowadays Microsoft Edge that the most useful thing about these browsers is the ability to download other browsers. That's no longer the case. Mozilla's Firefox is now in the Microsoft Store to download. Other browsers worthwhile of downloading include Vivaldi. This one's great for customization with productivity features. Another one for those of you that are focused on privacy is the Brave browser. Duolingo, the popular language learning app for iOS and Android, also has a really good app for Windows. This is one of those freemium type of apps where you get the learning content for free with ads and upgrading gets you premium features with no ads. They now have more than 40 languages to choose from. When you first launch the app, select the course that you would like to take. I'll go with Italian. Now it's going to ask you to pick a daily goal. I'll just leave it on regular, then select continue. Then on the course page, start at the top and follow the instructions. This will be a quick one. 
Microsoft To Do is a completely free app that's also available for Android and iOS. This daily planner app is a great way to manage your tasks to be more productive. ShareX is a free and open source screenshot and screen recording program I've mentioned quite a bit in our free software series of videos. For productivity, nothing matches its feature set. It's packed with a lot more tools than the built-in snipping tool in Windows and others like GreenShot. Selecting Capture on the left, you have several choices, including full screen, window monitor, region, screen recording, and my personal favorite for capturing an entire web page is scrolling capture. And if you go into tools here on the left, there's a color picker, image editor, and video converter. Fused is a cool blending app that can help you to create interesting effects for your photos and videos. The results can be hit or miss, as you'll see in this example. Here's how it works. First, select your background photo. You could leave it square or choose original. Click the check mark to move on. Now select your foreground photo. To accept it, hit the check mark again. Now you'll have a blend of two photos. This one is not so great. Selecting blends will give you several types of blends to play around with. Adjust will let you change the contrast, exposure, and brightness. It includes masking tools, along with tools to crop, rotate, and flip your image. And when you're done, in the upper right corner, you can save your project to your computer. People will often ask in the comments of our videos if we know of a good program to get rid of duplicate files. A good one I use is Duplicates Cleaner. After you manually select a folder, it can find duplicates of any file type. And once it finds those duplicate files, you can get rid of them with just one click. This will be another quick one. If you're a user of the popular messaging app, Telegram, in addition to being available for iOS and Android, they have an app for Windows as well. It offers the same end-to-end -end encryption, video calls, and so much more. Mouse pointer highlight is for those people that ask me what I'm using to highlight the cursor in our videos. This can also come in handy when doing presentations for work or anything else. It's highly customizable depending on your needs. You can change the size, opacity, and color. You can also adjust the click highlight size, opacity, display time, and color. Power Toys from the folks at Microsoft is an awesome utility package with a set of useful tools that can help to improve your experience on Windows and enhance your productivity. Some of the tools I use include the color picker, which allows you to select a color to find out what color it is, which is useful for artists and designers. Fancy Zones allows you to personalize the layout of your desktop. This comes in handy when working with a multi-monitor layout or large monitor. Image Resizer allows you to resize images in bulk. And the shortcut guide lets you quickly see the most popular keyboard shortcuts associated with the Windows key. To open the shortcut guide, use the keyboard shortcut Windows key plus shift plus slash. To use any of these, hold down the Windows key plus the corresponding key or keys. I've mentioned several code editors in the past. CodeWriter is one I recommend for those of you new to coding. While not as feature-rich as my personal favorite, Visual Studio Code, it's good for those people that get overwhelmed with too many features. It's a definite step up from using Notepad, which is built into Windows. It supports more than 20 file types and comes with active syntax highlighting. In the settings in the lower right, it can be customized to fit your needs. The aforementioned Visual Studio Code is also available from the Microsoft Store. As shown in our free software series, it's the best code editor for developers with support for most programming languages and has a ton of plugins to enhance its functionality. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of a free app in the Microsoft Store worth trying out, let me know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest free software videos right here on Brett in Tech.